Well, that morning I was traveling east in the Pennsylvania Turnpike, had some state business in the southeastern part of the state. And uh, I kind of place it that we were somewhere just shy of the King of Prussia exit of the Turnpike, the Valley Forge exit, I should say. And the first call uh, was from uh, John Furco, was on my staff. And then the second call was from the watch officer of the Emergency Operations Center that said that uh, it, was, it was probably at 9.04. I mean, the f Flight 175 hit the South Tower at 9.03.02. So I'm going to say 9.04. Mm -hmm. And it was time to return to the Capitol. Because you might remember, I was chair of the Pennsylvania Emergency Management right. Council. And as it's often been portrayed, you, you're, you're like the top emergency responder. Uh, obviously, Tom's the, the gut, needless to say, Tom's the governor. And uh, it was time to get back. And we just, at that point, to be specific, it was all about a rendezvous with a state police helicopter and, and come back for a prompt convening of the, of the council. And, uh, and Tom got back in, and that's, it was, you know, the, the, uh, you know, the makeup of that uh, council is germane here because it's, it's not just the units of government, you know, like the uh, PEMA or PennDOT and the PUC, also the leaders of the uh, four chambers. Uh, so that, you know, robust communication is assured in, on the spot. And, uh, you know, Tom and I were in the same room and we got the briefing and uh, I think it's also where the, and, and that happened very quickly. I, I, I forget, there's probably somewhere in the record a specific time we started. Yet the whole idea was to uh, comprehend that our challenge had gone beyond the, the general assistance cry of, you know, uh, the towers in New York City and the American airliner that hit the Pentagon. Uh, we had our own challenge uh, because, you know, by 10 o'clock, Flight 93 was down in western Pennsylvania. So we had both the general assistance uh, focus and certainly my job was to see to it that all needed resources were deployed to Somerset County to assist uh, in managing the site and the aftermath. And I'll, I, I, not insignificant too, because you know, certainly we had worked hard in our administration, and that was kind of fell to me early on, uh, was the uh, operation of the USAR team, the Urban Search and Rescue Team. Our Pennsylvania's was the first non-New York State use our team on the pile in Manhattan. So, you know, it, it, aside from the critical work, it was a, a, a you know, it was a, uh, a noteworthy uh, aspect of pride uh, that, that that occurred. So I think that's a confirmation that uh, we were poised uh, to react quickly. Because the, the issuance, the directive that they need a use our team uh, is not, not a one-sided move by the Commonwealth. It, it's, it's uh, issued by FEMA. We're ready to go. And by the way, another another add-on is is, you know, I can remember uh, days later thinking, wow, if we had our own need in the Commonwealth for an urban search and rescue team, what would we do? And so we we arranged and stimulated and financed the the formation of a second unit. So. You know, that, that's kind of, uh, I think, a very small subset of the issues and functional challenges that, that uh, were on my mind mm -hmm. uh, on 9-11 on itself.